Maternal health is the health of women during pregnancy, childbirth and the postpartum period. In most cases, maternal health encompasses the health care dimensions of family planning, preconception, prenatal and postnatal care in order to ensure a positive and fulfilling experience. Today, the Green Only crew stopped by at the internally displaced persons camp located in the Apomechanic village axis in the federal capital territory of Bosia to have a conversation with the women. Please come with us. A place that has become home to over a thousand households, mainly from the northern part of Nigeria. The buildings are partially completed with no adequate facilities like toilets, bedrooms, kitchens, windows, doors, and electricity. The women are primarily housewives and their husbands are the breadwinners. Some of them are without spouses with little or no means of survival, while some others survive on their petty businesses within the camp. As you can see, this place is a business environment where they sell empty ragolis. They use it to produce cotton wood and from the cotton wood they use it to produce wrappers and clothes. Some of the women have had up to 10 children as the absence of medical centers has limited their knowledge of appropriate birth control. The women said they would not be agreeing to the process of family planning, while others said their husbands would frown at the option of birth control. In regards to the family planning, some of our husbands will not agree to the family planning. They will not even buy the idea of the family planning. Why some of the husbands will buy the idea of the family planning? And they will be the one to take us to get to do the family planning and pay for it. Some of the women have also attributed their lack of hospital visits to a lack of finance as medical centers often turn them away upon hearing they are from IDP camps. I give birth in the hospital. I started labor in the night around 7 o'clock. I labor all throughout the night, getting to early morning the next day. I went to the hospital. Getting to the hospital, the nurse and doctor there told me I have no less than two hours to put to bed. I struggled for the labor. I didn't give birth, so I struggled for a very long time. When I gave birth to the baby, the baby was not alive again. So I they cleansed me, but I was bleeding. I bleed a lot. Later, it stopped. I went back home, struggled with the bleeding again. It later stopped. From there, I was getting body temperature, so I struggled for this one for a while. Later on, it stopped. As for me, I gave birth to six children, and the whole of the six children are dead. I gave birth to those children through CS. I have never put to bed on my own. All the six children, it was through CS. They have to be tearing me and bringing them out. Okay. I've escorted people to hospital. I've gone to see people giving birth, even in that Asoko Road. Christians, they pay money. They pay money. Some will be there for some days, going around. Sometimes women will go out with, with maybe a bucket, start contributing what you have. You put it together just to go and pay hospital bill for a particular woman. When a child, children do for ill. Those small, small children that maybe sometimes they do say is um. Some will say 
maybe when the child is not the way sometimes they say they have this um, lack of um, what do they call it malnourished so that is so this this thing even for a child will fall sick that when you are going to this little primary health center or this little hospital they will say that child they don't have they can't treat that child you take it to that when you take it to that before they will admit that child is another problem because they know we don't have that money so we have to maybe keep that light that child on the floor maybe you have to come back running from one place to the other going to a place before they will get something and take it there that's another aspect in an exclusive interview with Dr. Saidu Ahmed Dambowa, a senior technical assistant to the Honorable Minister of Health and National Program Manager, National Emergency Medical System, NEMSIS, on the need for the provision of the antenatal post in all IDP camps across the FCT and other areas affected by insurgency. Dr. Saidu categorically stated that it is not in their staple to make such provision as it is incumbent on the Ministry of Humanitarian Affairs, the IDP camp commission and the federal capital territory to do so. Whenever there's an emergency, a pregnant woman, a woman, a woman uh, is pregnant or if there's any domestic emergency or obstetric emergency that is for the pregnant for the woman or pediatric emergency for the children you understand you simply dial a number 112 once you call 112 in the case of fct now as we are actually discussing the call will actually it's a toll free number you just call it's a toll free number you're not going to be charged it will drop once it drop at the national communication uh, emergency center and that center will ask you what is the emergency say no that's an emergency a pregnant woman here in idp in a malaysia camp is in malaysia you call it malaysia yeah, malaysia garden estate camp that's an emergency pregnant woman she is sick or idp patient idp uh, we are here in idp camp somebody is having an emergency it's a serious issue please we need an ambulance to come and pick him and take it to an any by appropriate hospital that immediately they will link you up to the FCT call center where we have our agents that work 24 hours, you understand? And that call agents that are there, the dispatchers, will look for an ambulance nearby. That ambulance may be a private ambulance or a public ambulance. Each of the ambulance that is accredited with us has a booklet that is there. And all particulars, all details will actually buy a data or the patient will actually put in with the contact and all details that is required, and they will hand over the patient to the hospital. Once they hand over, once they hand over the patient to the hospital with that form, now that patient automatically becomes the patient of the federal government of Nigeria. That is the name of NEMSIS program that is actually being sponsored by the federal government in NEMSIS program. Several attempts to meet with the aforementioned bodies proved abortive as at the time of this report. The women also had this to say as you can see my daughter was not feeling too well she could not make it our um, requests from the government is they should help in providing hospital for us in the malaysia garden that is our request to the federal government on education, the pupils, numbering over a hundred, mostly from ages five to sixteen, have been out of school for a while, squeezed into a few classrooms with barely any ventilation or learning materials. The children have no basic educational materials and facilities except those provided by kind-hearted individuals, which is barely enough. The children indeed are still happy to be back in school. Some of the tutors have complained of slow learning processes, but then the smiles on the faces of these children keeps them going. My experience teaching these children, these children are one special children that if you are teaching them, there's something you have to look at because they are children that have not been out of school, have not been in school, so in the environment. So you have to be, your, the teaching aspect has to be, it is slow, because not like the way you teach. You can teach a particular topic, 
for like two or three weeks. So you have to break it down and you make it short. And this is a teaching that you use English and you have to translate it in the language they understand. Our biggest challenge is the language barrier. We're trying to teach and explain to them the language they understand more. And we do more of repeti repetition. Because if we give them own work, they are supposed to go at home and they will guide them. But their parents are not that grounded, so they come back and we still do the same thing. That's why we are not really moving forward. But they are trying, they are improving. We are not where we, they, we are not where we ought to be, but we are not where we used to be. We have made some move and they are doing well. They are teaching us mass our subjects, eight subject, mass verba, write, writing, social study, basic science, quantitative, and we are speaking English. Pilot. Want to be a pilot? Yes. Oh wow, <laughs> that's amazing. Yes. Ruth Besson reporting for Green Nolly Television, Abuja.